If you are a physician and want to do research, there is a great opportunity for you that you probably haven't heard about. The NIH T32 is an amazing opportunity that can be summarized as follows. The T32 provides a salary for you to do full-time research. There are almost 2,000 T32 programs around the country and an even larger selection of mentors to choose from. In addition, you apply for the T32 job. There is no NIH grant application. The T32 requires payback, which isn't really a problem. A second year on the T32 fulfills payback, or payback can easily be fulfilled by research, teaching, or other activities at your new employer. Let's now discuss the T32 in more detail. Institutions such as universities apply and receive NIH T32 grants. Institutions then need physicians to fill these positions. You are eligible for a T32 if you are a U.S. citizen, a national, or a permanent resident. Physicians of all career stages are eligible. The NIH states that a nine-month commitment to the T32 is the minimum unless an exception is made. Research programs are located throughout the U.S. and can be found on the NIH Reporter website. Additionally, you can limit your search to a location or research topic. The T32 is very flexible. Your specialty training is irrelevant. If you are a cardiologist and want to do research in an infectious disease lab, you can do that. Additionally, the research site doesn't have to be a hospital. It could be a university that doesn't have a hospital. Please note that many mentors are part of a T32, so you can choose the mentor that best suits your research as long as the mentor's research relates to the subject matter of the T32. After you find relevant T32 programs, perform a web search to find the job application on the institution's website. If there isn't a website, simply contact the PI or investigator listed on the T32 award. Ask if there is an open position for the time span when you want to start. If there is an opening, look for a mentor, apply, interview, and get the job. The T32 allows you to do full-time research, have a salary similar to a resident salary, have research funding, and get a travel stipend as listed. Of note, the T32 requires a payback agreement. For the first T32 year only, you must pay back your time through service, which can be research, teaching, or health-related activities at your new employer, whether that's a company, a university, or something else. Of note, a second year on the T32 fulfills the payback requirement. If you decide against service payback, you can elect the financial payback option. Ultimately, I think the payback requirement is pretty flexible and isn't a big drawback of the T32. Other things to consider. The maximum time you can spend on a T32 is three years, and you will have to take a brief course on the responsible conduct of research. Of note, non-physicians are eligible for the T32. Predoctoral students are also eligible for the T32, but have different rules. Let's review how to get a T32. Search the NIH Reporter Database for T32 programs of interest. Find the corresponding website of the program. Unfortunately, most programs don't have a website, so you can always email the investigator or PI on the T32 grant about an opening when you want to start. Then you need to find a mentor, apply for the job, and interview. Hopefully, you will get the position because few people know about the T32. So, the NIH T32 is a great research opportunity for physicians. Lastly, remember to check out our other videos, and thanks for watching.